Yo, what's up guys, it's Crestman Animations here, and today I will be filming my top 5 favorite and least favorite figures of 2019. So yeah, I'm sorry for not posting for a bit, my phone is broken, so I'm recording this on my dad's phone. So yeah, I'm sorry if the video is not as good, but that's what I have to do. And I'm sorry if I'm also very sound tired, because I am. Because we just had a giant New Year's party last night, I'm filming this on uh, January 1st, so... Happy New Year, Happy New Decade, and uh, yeah, these figures right here are not actually on my list, they're just some honorable mentions, and just to get this out of the way, not all the figures here might have been made in 2019, but they're, I got them in 2019, so yeah. Okay, I apologize if you hear noise in the background, there's someone else in my room. Okay, so uh, yeah, here's my honorable mentions. I got Ray from Rise of Skywalker. He's cool. I got her from GameStop like two days ago. So yeah. And then, so yeah, put her off to the side. This guy I got, I don't even remember. I think I, I did get him in 2019. He's like some Fortnite guy. I don't know. He's cool though. He's got good articulation, just not on the list. This guy definitely wasn't released in 2019, which is a bit of a reason why I don't have him on the list. A Civil War cap, and uh, yeah, good figure, there's not a ton of accessories, just all he has is the shield and him, but yeah, that's it. Alright, sorry about that, I was rudely interrupted, um, two times, so, uh, yeah, this next figure is Spider-Man Homecoming Mysterio, I've been looking for a Mysterio, um, for a long time now, I was gonna buy Comic Mysterio for, oh shoot, Okay, <laughs> for $50 um, off Amazon, but then they released this guy, but then I couldn't find him, so I was going to buy him for another expensive price. Then I found him at Target while shopping for gifts for Christmas, which made my which made my end price go up a lot, but you know what? It's worth it. It's Mysterio. Why not? But uh, yeah, I don't know why he's not on the list, just some better figures, really. And then, last figure is Fox. Cool figure, got him from GameStop for Force Friday. Uh, only complaint is, I wish they used the Rex body mold for him. I don't know why they didn't. Um, so yeah. Alright, let's get into the actual top five now. That All that is out of the way. Alright, number five on my list is Living Laser from the first Endgame wave. Um, this is really the only figure I wanted from that Endgame wave, which I know nobody really wanted this figure from that wave, but I think everybody who got this figure was actually really happy with it. It's got great articulation, it's just a great figure in general. I was really between him and Mysterio to get on the list, and, uh, he made it, and he's a great figure. Haven't messed with him in a while, just pulled him out and been messing with him a bit. Good figure, good articulation. I like the cool pink on him, he really stands out on the shelf. So yeah, that's number five. Good night, girl. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, my number four pick is Shazam from the Shazam Wave. Uh, it only included him and Dr. Savannah, which I also just got at five below, like three days ago. I got Dr. Savannah there for five bucks, and I got Shazam for Christmas, so he's pretty recent. Only complaint with this figure is his voice is a bit loose, which, but it's not that loose to the point where it's annoying. He's a good figure, great articulation, and I hope DC Multiverse really does learn from this figure, because it's a great figure, and I hope they keep making more, which it seems like they are, so yay. Let's go. Shazam is number four. Okay. <laughs> Okay, number three is Captain Marvel from the Captain Marvel movie wave. Whether you like the movie or not, even though I haven't seen it, but I know it's not everybody's favorite. You can't deny that this figure is just sick, okay? It's basically, it's the best female figure I have in my collection. It's the most articulated. I mean, the single joint arms do annoy me. Wish she had a better waist crunch, but you know what? I really do like this figure. The arms don't annoy me that much. And the lace isn't that bad, so. You know what? I like this figure. It's really fun. I played around with it a lot. It's cool. 
Got it from a new toy store in my mall, along with Cap. So yeah, that is number three on my list. Let's go. Hi. Hi. Two from my favorite figure of 2019 is Nightcrawler. So Nightcrawler is just a really fun figure, man. He's uh, I only have like three X-Men on my shelf. I've got Deadpool, Cable, him. Actually, I have Wolverine too. So yeah, only four X-Men, but man, this figure is so much fun. He comes with so much head sculpts. Comes with a sword, another hand for grabbing the sword. The only complaint is I wish his tail was bendy, but you know what? It doesn't even matter that much. Fun figure. Can't wait to use him in some animation soon, which you will see him soon. So, yeah. Fun figure. Let's get on to number one. Why you always lying? Oh, my God. My number one figure of 2019 is the Black Series Captain Rex figure. Man, this figure is so much fun to play with and just mess around with, dude. He's, his articulation is so amazing, and I do hope they keep using his body mold for more clones, because I will keep buying them. This my only complaint with Commander Fox. Great figure. He probably might have even topped out Rex. Actually, he probably wouldn't have, because he doesn't have a removable helmet. Even though I keep the helmet on, still a nice touch. Yeah, just a great figure, man. I love this figure so much. Really fun. I just can't stop posing this guy. He's like in my most like I use this figure all the time for some toy photography on my Instagram. Go follow me. Uh, link in the description. So yeah, I mean that said, that's it. So now let's get on to my least favorite figures of 2019. Alright. <laughs> watching this video uh leave down below your five five favorite figures that you got in 2019 i'd be interested to know and uh yeah i hope everybody enjoys this video and i'm sorry for inconsistent uploads hopefully when i get my own phone i'll get back on the schedule but yeah happy 2020 guys and uh yeah happy holidays too this is Crestman animations signing out